Hey, hey! Welcome back, my friends, to the Master Ranger playthrough. And the first episode here in hard mode. That is right, episode 7, and we're already in hard mode. So it goes without saying, we've got lots of stuff to be done in today's episode. Maybe getting ourselves the beautiful Onyx Blaster. We need only get ourselves two Dark Shards, ten Souls of Night, and of course the Shotgun from the Arms Dealer, and then we're good to go for that one. We could also head to the Shimmer and get ourselves a Ranger Emblem. So yeah, lots of stuff to be done, my friends, but the first thing I'll mention is, yeah, Chain Guillotines. What I was doing since the last episode is trying to shield off my base from the encroaching corruption. It's literally here and a corruption mimic decided to spawn here. I managed to blow it back to base and I actually managed to kill it using all of my Phoenix Blaster ammo and as a result, I do have myself some greater healing potions and chain guillotines. Obviously, the chain guillotines we cannot use, so they're going to be sold. Same with the breaker blade. And actually, while we're here, we can purchase the shotgun. Why not? I mean, it's there and something I want to try is something I actually saw on the Terraria wiki. It recommended using explosive bullets with the Onyx Blaster. I'm very, very interested to give that a bit of a go. What we need in order to make explosive bullets is we need to get ourselves, I think it's some gunpowder. Yeah, here we go. Explosive powder from this guy here. Seems to be reasonably expensive, it has to be said. But no matter, we'll see if we can still make this thing work. We buy ourselves a ton of bullets here, rather like that. And can we do this thing? Yeah, there we are. You get 50 per time. So 50 per explosive powder bore. That's not too bad, if you ask me. All right, just bought myself a whole bunch of silver bullets so I could do slightly more damage than that of the musket bullet. And uh, yeah, what we're now going to do is start grinding out for the Onyx Blaster. That is right. Straight away. We're going straight for it. Ah, okay. Turns out getting dark shards may be easier said than done. Yes, the corruption is over here, but there is absolutely no sign of a desert over there. And there also doesn't appear to be any signs of a desert over the left-hand corruption either. The nearest desert seems to be, what, over here? And there's another one over here with the oasis, so... Hmm, how are we going to get dark shards? I guess, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way, Hey, Can we get ourselves some vile powder? Pretty sure we can. There we are. Spreads the corruption. Love to see it. What we also need is a whole bunch of sand, and then we can make our own little custom corrupted desert. And that would make things quite a lot easier in terms of grinding bits and bobs out. So then, instead of going ahead and decimating our existing desert, what I thought could be a cool idea is if we grab the sand from underground. Oh dear. 1,500 health we need to try and take down with this fella. Ah, oh, jeez. It's like a mini boss. While we're grabbing ourselves a bunch of sand here, I do of course want to remind you folks that if you are enjoying this series and you want to continue seeing more, do be sure to support the series with a big old like on the videos here. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, of course, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off or for a whopping 15% off if you decide to go for some Terraria merch from Terraria.shop instead. And if I may, I just want to say... A massive thank you to all of you folks who have indeed been supporting this series in the form of likes and comments and subscriptions lately. I really do appreciate it, folks. Now, I must confess, I don't actually know just how many blocks I'm going to need in order for our homemade desert to be counted as a corrupted one. I have a feeling the number we're looking for is 250, but I'm going to go for 300 sand blocks to corruptify. Just in case. All right, there we are. 300 sand blocks obtained. Fantastic. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make a homemade corrupted desert. Let's get this thing over with, shall we? I think what we're going to do is just put like a 100 block wide platform and then three layers of sand and then that should pretty much do it. All right, I think we start off with three layers of these beautiful stone bricks here because they can't be overcome with anything and therefore they can be used to separate evil from from purity areas. Good grief, doing any kind of building work, early hard mode. Oh man, is it a pain. I literally feel like I've spent three quarters of my time doing this, just getting rid of the mobs. Oh hey, we got a blindfold though. So, you know, not quite the end of the world, eh? 
Oh, dearie me! It begins. All right, we're spreading in the sand now, and then we can start spreading the corruption, and then we can start getting dark shards. And yeah, I know, I know, most people would probably go for armor first, but here I am trying to rush my way towards the onyx blaster. I really do genuinely want to give a go the explosive ammo combined with the onyx blaster, so... Yeah, I'm excited. I really, really am. So let's just keep this thing going. We're actually getting pretty close to having this thing done. I mean, at the end of the day, the corruption is already on our left-hand side there. So I might just give this area to the left here. I might just give it up to the corruption. I mean, it's already pretty much there. So why deny it any further? Ah, very good. So we've got regular mummies spawning here, which is good news because that means we should have corrupt mummies spawn here later down the line. <laughs> Hey guys, check it out. The unconscious man is here. And he's done. All right, now we go at it with the vial powder. Yeah, wow. That actually spreads way further than I thought it would. Okay, turns out this is going to be an absolute friggin' breeze, my friends. Look at it. Wow. All right, since it is a mob farming area, we're going to pick up the water candle we've got going on and we're going to chuck it way over here. That is right. And now what I could do is maybe go a little bit further, put down Eater of Souls banner, maybe a gnome with his butt showing to us apparently. <laughs> hey, look, there we are. Oh, dark mummies. That's what I'm looking for. I think as with most grindy things in this game, it's just going to be a matter of time before we get what we're looking for. So just got to stick it out for now, I guess. I can see a megaphone on the left there. That's actually pretty cool. Don't mind that one bit. Get rid of the corruptor. Get rid of that guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, we've got another blindfold. Wait, we could transmute that into, what is it, the pocket mirror? Ah, oh, okay. It's becoming ever more important that we find ourselves the shimmer by him, my friends. Good grief. I cannot wait until we get some more hard mode banners around here. Because, oh man, do I need them. <laughs> hey, that is the first out of the two dark shards we need. Yeah. Got him. All right, very good. We even got ourselves a pet out of that as well, my friends. <laughs> All right, excellent. Right, now we need to head to the underground corruption. We need 10 souls of night. Hey, guys, want to know something cool? We actually got ourselves the full outfit for the mummy set. <laughs> we can now roll around as a mummy. And you know what? I'm kind of down to do that because I don't very often now, do I? All righty, a quick little stop for even more ammo. And then we're going to head down to the underground corruption. I wonder if I could get away with farming souls of night down at the very, very bottom of these corruption chasms. Only that would be most helpful. Ah, oh, do you know what? We've got the corruption here. Yeah, but we've got ourselves a granite biome here. I wonder if we could farm out the granite dudes for some souls. Let's have ourselves a bit of a look. Okay, no souls just yet. But it's early days. Yeah, there we are. Souls of Night. Easy money. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, adhesive bandages from these guys. Definitely would not mind. I mean, the sooner we can get ourselves an ank shield, let's be honest, the better things are going to be. Huh. Depth meter. Turns out we didn't already have one of those. <laughs> oh, cool. Ah! There's bats and all sorts of rubbish all over the place. Good lord. All right, six souls of night, though. We're not doing bad. Hang on a minute. There's two of these worm mini bosses around here. Since when could you get two of them spawn at the same time? Wait, is there three of them, though? I think there might actually be three of these guys now. Oh, my gosh. What the hell, Terraria? <laughs> That's one of them done. There's another soul of night. There's another worm taken out. <laughs> I can't believe it. I never knew you could get multiple of those bleeding worms spawn in here. That is absolutely ludicrous, that is. All right, there we go. That's all of them. Very good. And if we were to go collect those souls, we have enough. Yeah, there we are. Okay, excellent. Right, can we make it at a regular anvil, though? I have a feeling the answer may be no. 
But, yeah, okay, the answer's no, unfortunately. We've got the shotgun, we've got ourselves the dark shard, we've got ourselves the souls of night. We are only missing an oracalcan slash mithril anvil at this point. All right, my friends, time to go find the shimmer. For any of you guys who don't know, of course, the shimmer is always on the same side of the world where your jungle is. And for the most part, if you were to just go to the ocean, just before you hit the ocean itself, just... Dig down. All right, very good. So here we go. Just before the ocean, we are now going to dig down. Unlike rule one in Minecraft, where you really shouldn't dig straight down, we can kind of see where we're going in this game, can't we? So yeah, dig down all you want. Who cares? That's all right, I didn't want to live anyway. Stupid explosive chest. I'm starting to wonder if I'm a little bit too far to the right here. Maybe I need to head on over to the left a little bit or something. I have a feeling it might be sort of here. Come on, somewhere around there's going to be a huge circular formation of nothing but stone. That's what we're searching for. So if we can find ourselves an area where there's literally only stone and nothing else, no sand, no dirt, no ores, nothing like that, then we found it. What the? The wizard? Hello, buddy. How you doing? As nice as you are, you're not actually going to be overly useful to our cause in this series, are you? So, yeah. You're cool and all, but you're not gonna get many sales out of me there, broski. Sorry. Oh, hey, an underground cabin. How about that? If this has double jump in it, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Okay, it doesn't. Good. <laughs> Yo, look at all this blue glowing moss. Ah, this looks really awesome. You know, one of these days, I might actually do an underground settlement. Maybe that's something to be saved for my next sort of generic let's play, eh? Where we're not restricted to certain classes or whatever that have you. Ah, okay. Thanks, giant bat. You're definitely not the most annoying type of mob in the entire game or anything. Wait a minute. Large horizontal area. Yep, here it is. <laughs> All I needed to do was turn right at the bottom of this mushroom biome instead of going left like I did. Wow. All right, very, very good. So that means we now have access to the shimmery shimmer of epicness. Ah, a nymph. Helpful. We got ourselves a metal detector of epicness. That is something we didn't already have. Okay, very good. Alrighty, my friends. Let's start off with the blindfold, shall we? It should give us, I think, the pocket mirror. Yes, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. So let's just do a bit of a count here. We've got ourselves the blindfold. That's required. We've got ourselves the megaphone. That's needed. The pocket mirror is also needed. So that's, what, three out of ten. No, wait, four out of ten because we've got the bazaar earlier in the series as well. Ah, turns out there's an underground cabin over here. All right, what's this got? It has another band of regen. Not actually overly fussed about what may or may not be inside those chests anymore since we've got what we need. But, you know, I mean, it's free loot. And if it's for free, it's for me. All right, the other thing that I wanted to transmute into existence is indeed a ranger emblem. So hang on, I just need to deal with the trash first. Right, there you go. Get out of here, son. Right, uh, let's transmute that one more time. Should become the ranger emblem next, as far as I know. There it is. Beautiful. Now, of course, if and when we get access to a whole bunch more of these ankh shield accessories, that, of course, will come back here and transmute any of the duplicate ones so we can get the remainder. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the ankh charm accessories in here for now. Uh, just so we can easily keep track of them as we go along. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, final goal for today's episode will indeed be the Onyx Blaster. We'll go for the armor and potentially our first hard mode boss in the next episode. But yeah, I just didn't want to push it too far in today's episode. We've definitely been absolutely surging through this series in terms of progression rate. But that's only because, well, I've been playing this game for over a decade. I pretty much know the quick ways to do things so you know doesn't really make sense for me to keep doing things super slow not in these playthroughs here the series in which i will take my time will be my normal let's play series but when it comes to these playthroughs i only have the goal of completing the game and getting an ultimate loadout done so 
Not really much point in dawdling, is there? But anyways, here we are. Angry Ranger Emblem taking our Phoenix Blaster from 43 up to 49 damage. Now all we need to do is go smash some altars, dig up a bunch of ores, get ourselves an Oracalcum slash Mithril Anvil, whatever it is we wind up having on this world. And then the Onyx Blaster will become a reality, my friends. It's going to be so, so cool. I'm so looking forward to it. Needless to say, though, we will go ahead and keep one Demon Altar behind. I'm going to leave that one down there. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Palladium, Oracalcum, and Adamantite. A nice mixture of the original ores and the overhauled ores. Another altar, and another altar. Oh, look at that. There's like three, four, five more over here. Well, six, maybe even seven if you actually go digging for them. Another one. And another one. I'm so glad these don't wind up spreading random blocks of evil in your world anymore. Oh, good lord. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's just try and get to one side of them here. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely terrifying. There's like literally, what, 15 raves over there. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and calm yourself there, Terraria? Let's see if we can't take down all of these guys before we get to the far right-hand side of the horizontal section here and we inevitably corner ourselves. Look at all of them. There's a whole bunch of them that are one shot. Holy crap. Needless to say, if you haven't realized already, when you do destroy a demon altar, they will spawn one or two raids each. And yeah, it doesn't seem to care about the mob cap. They just spawn in number less, so... If you want a whole bunch of wraiths so you can farm yourselves out some accessories, there you go. Altars. Another altar. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Another one. And finally, another one. Okay, there we are. I think we're looking pretty good in terms of hard mode or distribution in our world. So I think we're going to head back to base before we get absolutely raved to death. So all we need to do now is get ourselves enough palladium for a palladium pickaxe. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, I think we're just about there. I mean, that's not really too difficult to achieve. Getting yourself enough palladium for a pickaxe. Three ores per bar means we should have 20 of these bad boys. And uh, ladies and gentlemen... Here we are, the Palladium Pickaxe. Beautiful. It's a bad one with minus speed. Well, what a load of poo that is. All right, let's get ourselves something slightly better. We want plus speed, ideally. Come on. Plus size. Interesting. Hey, agile. I'll take that. All we need to do now is get ourselves enough Oracalcum so we can get ourselves an anvil, perhaps a pickaxe as well. And, well, actually, that's about it, really. So, let's go grab ourselves some. Come on, the quicker I am, the less chance I'm going to have of people spawning all over my butt here. Uh, right, now we need to go, what, to the underside here. There we are. Look at it. Beautiful Oracalcum. We've got to sort of speed this along a little bit here. But the thing is, we need more Oracalcum than we needed Palladium. So, uh, you know, make your bets now. How long are we going to last? I have no idea. The reason I want to get an Oracalcum pickaxe, of course, I think it goes without saying, is in the next episode, we're going to be going for Adamantite Ranger armor. Now, of course, we could, if we really wanted to, try to grind out for the Frost armor instead. The Frost armor, of course, being a melee ranger hybrid set of armor. It might not be the worst idea in the world, considering it comes with the Frost burn buff for your projectiles, right? Hmm... I don't know. Let me know in the comments area. I'll leave it up to you guys. Do we make the Adamantite... Oh, good grief. Do we make the Adamantite Ranger armor or do we go for some Frost Up? No! Don't! Oh! This is why I don't have the magic mirror on my hot bar. Because of stupid stuff like that. Ah, what a load of poo. Wait, the mech bosses won't spawn underground, right? It's going to be a terrible night. I think that is a sign that the twins are going to roll on in, right? I don't want that to happen. I really don't. <laughs> Anything I can do to stop that happening, I'm going to do it. All right, I think it's four oils per bar, 12 bars for the anvil, and then 18 bars for the pickaxe. I could be wrong with that, but yeah, that means 30 times four, which is, what, 120? We have 100. Uh, maybe this vein here will tick us over. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, oh, good grief. Right, home time, home time. <laughs> Ooh, 
looking a bit close for comfort there. All right, 123 Arakaka more. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's not looking good, if I'm honest with you, my friends. A blood moon going on. I'm surprised that the boss hasn't spawned in yet. Uh, is that still to come? I don't know. I really don't. But what is to come is the Onyx Blaster. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. And there's the pickaxe as well. I was right. It was 18 bars. So a grand total of 30 is needed. 30 is the magic number, it would seem. Oh, Onyx Blaster. Aren't you pretty? So let's go ahead and do ourselves a bit of a favor here, eh? We are going to try to maximize. Oh, good sweet lord. Oh, this isn't looking very good. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not getting killed on my own base. I'm, I'm dead in my own base. You son of a gun. I was so hyper-focused on creating my explosive bullets, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. All right, come on. I don't think we're going to be able to do this because we literally just spent all of our money. We have but three copper coins left. <laughs> all right, real quick. Let's go ahead and test this. Let's see what it can do. Boom. Holy crap. That is some insane knockback. All right, let's go ahead and test it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that is actually kind of crazy. Wow. One-shotted that guy or one-bursted that guy. What about this dude? Boom. Oh, that's hilarious. Absolutely wrecking shop. I imagine this could probably make quick work of the twins. But, you know, don't want to be getting ahead of ourselves here, my friends. We do have another hard mode boss to do before then. And also, oh, good grief. We could... Oh, sweet lord. I could also do with getting rid of that uh, little candle effect. And maybe getting rid of this clown. That'll be kind of cool. Yeah. Wait, what is that? A KO cannon. Sadly, that's melee damage. We're not allowed to use it. So, my friends, I think on that rather amazing note of finally getting the Onyx Blaster, it is going to be time to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, our first episode in hard mode, master mode, then do be sure, of course, to drop a like beneath this video. I very much appreciate it, folks. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for all of your wonderful support. And I'll see you guys... Uh, in death, it would seem. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.